Akbar. The deluge of the arms trafficking has been attributed to the fallout of the regional arms conflicts in West Africa and Libya, where weapons used in the arms struggles end up in other countries, such as Nigeria, with rising cases of violent crime. The developments were also inflamed by political militancy, where politicians employ firearms to further their electoral campaigns. Hence, huge patronage and incentive for the illegal arms import business. According to the customs boss, the latest seizure underscores the determination of the service to enforce all laws relating to importation and exportation of goods into and out of Nigeria, thereby contributing to the economy, security and well-being of the country. It, it, actually, it's, it's unfortunate that um, some custom officers and uh, some Nigerians will want to connive and bring this kind of deadly uh, cargo into the country. Uh, as you know, we have uh, our customs intelligence unit, operators of the intelligence units, all over our terminals, seaports, airports, borders, and all that. They keep tap with what is happening. We have informants. I mean, you, you don't get to know them. Uh, officers of uh, the Federal Operation Unit received a tip-off. They were actually on information patrol. They never knew it was this deadly. Uh, what was suspected is that... Uh, Maybe there was cases of uh, false declaration on the payment and all that. Uh, they talked about steel steel and all the merchandise, not specified. So that arose suspicion, and they, they received a tip up, and they were on information patrol. They got to somewhere around my two, intercepted this uh, this container, and took it to Federal Operation Unit. Their suspicion became heightened when invitation made to the clarity agent to come for examination, uh, he kept dilly-dally. Even when he showed up, he would deliberately show up towards evening time, when it would become you know, near impossible to examine a one by 40 feet container. They insisted. He made some of uh, don't do this, I can, I mean, I give you all what you need and all that and all that. The OC in charge of this team insisted that this container will be examined and in the presence of the cleric agent. Eventually, they got that done and behold, they discovered this. The fact remains that um, the Nigerian Customs Service are aware of the fact that there may be some of us who will be willing to compromise or will not be committed or dedicated to their functions enough. That is why we have these layers of checks. That's why we have the, the, the intelligence unit, we have the, the, the federal operation unit, and we have the compliance team. The idea is to counterbalance, you know, police the police. We are aware. Just as you have one or two bad custom officers, we have a whole lot more who are ready to insist that the wrong must be corrected. And that's why you have these seizures. The ECOWAS protocol on free movement of persons, goods and services has thus created a space for criminals' exploits to facilitate cross-border trafficking. These traffickers exploit loopholes in state capacity in monitoring cross-border trade in the region and relaxation of national borders intended to enhance regional integration to perpetrate their nefarious activities. In May 2013, for instance, a senior customs personnel was arrested for allegedly assisting Boko Haram insurgents to smuggle several trucks loaded with large cache of arms and ammunition into Nigeria. On 12 July 2013, soldiers in Kebi State impounded a petrol tanker loaded with three AK-47 rifles, one rocket-propelled grenade, nine AK-47 magazines, two bombs, three RPG charges, and 790 rounds of 7.2 mm of special ammunition in the fuel compartment of the tanker. It was suspected that these arms were destined for Boko Haram insurgents operating in the northeast region. 
on July 2013, an ex-Niger Delta militant, Anieti Etim, and four others who allegedly specialized in buying arms in Bakasi Peninsula for supply to Boko Haram insurgents were arrested by the police. The traffickers carefully constructed a special tank at the booth of an Audi salon car, where the concealed arms were shipment to the north. The car also had an extra tank constructed for fuel to ensure enough fuel that will take them to their destination. In July 2013 also, security forces discovered a vast network of underground tunnels connecting houses and many bunkers used by Boko Haram for trafficking small and light arms in Bulabulin area. Some of the tunnels and bunkers have the capacity to accommodate over 100 persons, enabling its fighters to hide and move arms around the area.